I definitely get you together. Crazy Monkey asked me, oh. tell us why you went to jail. Ooh. I'm gonna just put it like this. What's the deal? What's good? What's poppin' YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video, man. Today, we finna be answering some questions from our supporters, man. I know y'all been wondering a lot of things, and I'm finna address a lot of things in this video. Give y'all some comfort, bring y'all some information that y'all probably didn't know, you know what I'm saying? So I can keep y'all in tune with me and keep these videos coming, man. So I got Instagram pulled up on my computer. I got the questions pulled up. Y'all asked me a few questions. It's not too many. I don't wanna make the video too long just answering questions, but I'ma answer everything. I'ma try to answer everything to the best of my ability. I'ma try to. We gonna jump into it, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, man. We on a roll to 10K, man. We already hit 4K. Next goal is 5K, then after that is 10K, man. We finna get this going, I ain't gonna lie. I'm finna be dropping videos here and there. It's not gonna be daily uploads, but I'm dropping when I can. And I hope y'all stay in tune and stay supporting because I'm trying my best to get these videos off for y'all boys. But um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, at BluRain. If you haven't already, man, it's always content on there. Say nigga down, skim me, yeah. I'm about 135, yeah. So, Follow me on Instagram, man. It's turned over there. I got 22,000 followers, man. It's way more turned than it is on here. I can say that. We finna turn this up too. So let's really jump into these questions, man. We got the first question right here. I'm not good with spelling names. So I'ma just say that right now. So if I spell your name wrong, or if I say your name wrong, I'm just gonna spell his name G0 Easy, I believe that's your name. Uh, he asks, what's the next whip? And we definitely want the wide body back. Of course, nigga. I'm not, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not stopping oh the wide body. I fell in love with how I built that. So next build is coming in. It is gonna be a wild body second gen again. Yes. It's gonna have a better motor. <laughs> But right now, I'm really too focused on the case right now and other things and bills before I start focusing on getting into some fast cars. But it's gonna come. Be patient, it's gonna come. And when it comes, that's gonna probably be like the biggest achievement on my channel. And we probably gonna go up from there. But just be patient. I got another bill coming, don't worry. All right, so the next question is, how much was your swap? I actually paid for the swap, so I probably spent about 15 on it. More than that, after I bought it, I had to do a lot of things to it. But I probably spent about 15, 16, 17. You know what I'm saying? Around that price. Man, that's the cheapest skate you could probably get. I ain't gonna lie. All put together. Man, it wasn't totaled or anything like that. It just had some body work issues that I needed to work on. And before I dropped it on my channel, I made sure I took care of those body work issues. And I wanted to have the body kit fitted on there right. I just wanted to look perfect when I dropped it. So, and the person that asked that question was Cole Arnold23 on Instagram. I just didn't want to leave you out, my boy. All right, we got a question from Dead Zone Squeeze asking me how long you gonna be on house arrest. I don't actually. No, I'm not gonna lie. They might keep me on for the whole remainder of the case. I don't. And I want to get off of it sooner or later because it is costly. I pay like $70 a week just to be on tether, just to be out of jail. I have to pay for my freedom. It is frustrating. I don't want to be on this motherfucker no more. OG Demeanor, they don't fuck with them. Please take me off. Just. We gonna get it off soon. Hopefully we can get it off soon. Hopefully we can work out something with the jury and we can get that taken off. But next question is, do you have PS4? And the person that asked me that is the only shy. No, I don't play PS4. I play Xbox. Four is a, where real niggas play. Real street niggas play Xbox. Little niggas play PS4. And I noticed that, you know what I'm saying? It's just logic. That's what y'all do. Y'all play PS4, y'all niggas soft. You see me, he play PS4. He soft as hell, so you know. Next question by Asian Kid. He asked me, where's your car? It's gone. I don't know if you're talking about my skate or not, but it's gone, bro. I saw that a long time ago. We moving on to better over here. We always moving on to better. So that's gonna be like my channel's goal is just to keep moving up. So we're not gonna focus on the past. We're gonna move on to the future. All right, next question from Twerk4. He asked me, when do you get off house arrest? Like I said before, I don't know. Somebody asked me, can you help me get a game and set up? New Money J. Bruh. I got 40 bucks in my name, bro. You ain't nothing but a broke boy, boy, boy. It'll look like I can get you a fucking game and stuff. I don't got no money, nigga. Yeah, yeah. But one day, I will be trying to do more giveaways and stuff like that, give back to my supporters. But y'all gotta be supporting. Y'all gotta be on this motherfucker supporting for me to want to do some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Because I really appreciate y'all for that. So giveaways will be coming, and there'll be cash giveaways too if y'all really support me, you know what I'm saying? To answer your question, no, I cannot get you a game set up, bro. I'm sorry. 
D on the way or out the way asks me, is you gonna beat your case? Do you gotta go to court? Yes, I don't gotta go to court to ask that question, but am I gonna be my case? I believe so. I got faith in that. I got faith that I can beat my case, yes. If you asking me, you know what I'm saying, how I feel about it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I feel like I can beat my case. But we're not gonna speak too much about that shit. Chill Bro Austin asks me, how did you meet the rest of Fast Life? I started going to school with Nick, but everybody else kind of just came along from like car meets and shit like that, you know? I didn't really hang out with Nick a couple years ago. I had a whole entirely different friend group and we used to do whole entirely different things. Real street Nick. Yeah, I'ma just say that. We all met each other kind of like in a sequence, month by month, day by day type shit. But yeah. Them my niggas though, I love them to death. You know what I'm saying? It grew into something bigger. AC asked me, what made you want to start YouTube? I can say this, DDG. Roman Atwood. That was my first like ever person that I really watched like on a daily. Like I looked up to him. At a certain point of time, I just seen the things that he did. He just enjoyed life, enjoyed making videos. And yeah, he set like an example for me. Like I just wanted to do everything that he can do. So I wanted to start YouTube years ago. Like I'm gonna react to my old video from years ago and I'm gonna see what y'all think. I wanted to do YouTube for a very long time. It's going on probably like 11, 12 years now. I'm like, I used to literally have one of those little flip phones, that little flip up phone. I used to film movies with my brothers off of it. Like we used to do like little skits. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't post them on YouTube from there. Well, not that I knew of, but we used to just make little skits with the phone and shit. It was like a minute phone. It's always been my dream to do this. It's always been my dream. And I always been working towards it. Like I got a whole other channel where I've been posting consistently. And then this channel where I was posting, like this channel got all my old videos, like all of them. Down to when I first started YouTube, literally like my first video is still on this channel. I don't got to post it because it's embarrassing. I'm not going to post it. I just took a leap of faith and I just got into it. I didn't second guess it. I knew what I wanted in life. And after watching Roman Atwood and DDG, they motivated me to do it regardless of where the start may look. You know what I'm saying? So if you ever want to start YouTube or anything, just do it, bro. Just do it. If it's your dream, bro, and you want that for yourself, do it, bro. Don't second guess it, bro, because you're going to grow up and then you're going to realize, like, I could have followed my dream. Like, I am young. I'm 20. And I've been following my dream since I was a little, little dude. Like, I'm telling you, like, I was young. Like, making music like anything that I ever wanted to do in life, I pursued it. I didn't care about the judgment. I didn't care about what other people might think. I just did what the fuck I wanted to do because I know what I wanted to be in life. So eventually all this hard work is gonna pay off. I'm not exactly where I wanna be, but we working towards it. We working towards it for sure. Next question by AC again. Do you ever plan on leaving Michigan? Hell yeah. I ain't with the city no more. I ain't with Michigan. Like most of y'all, if y'all live in Michigan, y'all know I'm not doing it, bro. This city is a curse, bro. It don't matter how far you get from the hood, bro. It's gonna steal from follow you. Like, I got plans on moving to Atlanta or Houston. Those are two uh, states that I'm looking towards moving to. Hopefully, I can probably move to Texas or ATL one day. You know what I'm saying? That's my biggest goal. But I want to, yeah, definitely get a change of scenery. And I'm sorry, I look so dead right now. Like, look at the cut. Tell JT come cut me up, man. He been spinning me for days, man. He been spinning me for days. Look at this shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, no. no. But look, Jill me up too. Look at the acne. Like, I don't get acne, y'all. I don't get acne at all. But that gel really fucked me up. I'm gonna get my skin back, though. I'm gonna get it back. I just gotta wash my face and get a routinely thing going on, and then I'll be back to normal. Run this DJ. Ask me, where's your car? You sold it because it left before you went and did your 30-year Bruh. This nigga just said I did a 30-year bid. I did not do 30 years, but that's what the charges could lead up to. Yeah, my car is sold, bro. Yeah, I sold it. I already answered that question, but yeah, I sold it. It's gone. I hate thinking about it because I miss it. I ain't gonna lie. I do miss my wild body. We moving on to bigger and better. So we got this little juicy question right here. 6DC asked me. That rhyme, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, so, such a rapper. Baby. I ain't even try, but no, 6DC asked me, anyone snitch? That's a juicy ass question, my boy. You digging too deep into the roots, though. I can't disclose that information. Well, I can, but I'm just not. I guess we had to see. Hated Dalen asked me what was going on in your head when the cops found y'all. I'm not gonna lie, bro. A lot of things was going on in my head. I was so scary. Like, only because the simple fact that like, I just got off work. Like, I'm not thinking of nothing. I'm just getting off work like I do every day. I hear about my boy getting locked and jammed up and I'm like, yeah, that's weird. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, I'm getting boxed in by like 40 cars, nigga. Like, on some and GTA, Fast and Furious, Call of Duty type vibe, you know, all together type shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, no. I wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't tripping. When they got me, I was just like, okay, this is what it is. 
Anyways, and honestly, no. Most people want to know if I was crying or anything. Like, no, I was not crying, bro. I'm a real street nigga, bro. When we all understand that, when I say I'm a real street nigga, I mean that. You feel me? I'm a real street nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we gonna move on to the last question. I believe this is the last question. Let me see. No, it's not the last question. All right, the next question. If you gave your car away, who would it be? I guess he's asking, who would I give my car to if I was to give it away? Six Mile CJ asked me that. I would probably give it to my brother, my little brother. I feel like that's the right thing to do. And if it's not, I will probably give my car to Cam. I just love Cam. I love you, Cam, for real. But we gonna move on to the next question. Would you and Fast Life, BBE, and CMB ever get a big house together yes, yes. that i ain't gonna lie that was in our plans like one day we wanted to do that i don't know if we still gonna pursue that but that was a plan for us to get like a youtube house call it the fast house we get all our cars and shit. we get the film all through that whatever but that was a plan i don't know if we're gonna go through with that but it's a lot of things that come into factor when you're doing stuff like that so you gotta really acknowledge those things a lot of things could go wrong but a lot of things could go right if you got the right team with you yeah that's that been on our mind for sure hey Von asked me how much for a swap dm me dm me Pricing could vary, depending on what you got going on. And just DM me, you know what I'm saying? We can talk prices, we can, you know what I'm saying? DM me at Blue Rain. Yes, I do bills myself. They be good bills. Definitely some good bills, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck up. My shit pearled. Pearly world. Yeah. So tap in. I definitely get you together. Crazy Monkey asked me, oh, tell us why you went to jail. Oh, shit. I'm gonna just put it like this. When the feds see you winning, they'll do anything in their power to try to bring you back down especially as a black man. And I'm not trying to be putting this on race and shit like that, it's just how it is. You winning, they try to bring you down in any type of way. Down for years, they been trying to ruin my spirit, ruin my motivation, kill my drive, but it's not working. I'm forever gonna be motivated, I'm forever gonna move forward, and I'm forever gonna get through whatever God puts me through. So that was the last question. We just some real niggas, bro, and me and my team are definitely working towards better and trying to figure things out. And as y'all can see, we are trying to bring y'all beautiful content, beautiful energy, turned up, turned to this city, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody like us, and we gonna be bringing better to y'all. I ain't gonna lie, but I need to get a better haircut. I ain't gonna lie, cause I look terrible. I look like a mushroom. Yeah. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. It was not much in this video, but I hope this answered some of y'all questions and brought y'all a little bit more in to the situation. I appreciate y'all for enjoying my videos and my content. Keep on supporting me, man. Don't stop. I hope we can get this video to at least 50 likes, man. And I hope we can at least gain at least 10 subscribers off this video, man. If y'all got any more questions, hit me up on Instagram. I can do another Q&A or I can just answer them from the DM. I'll be trying to answer supporters DMs. I just get a lot. And then some of them just be bullshit. I just don't be on to answer a lot of messages because it can be bullshit. Let me know if y'all want to go through my DMs. We can do a video. We can go through my DMs and see what the people be talking about in there. Because it just be a lot of shit in that moment. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, I'ma keep saying it. Turn on that post notification so you know when I post, you know what I'm saying? I don't post daily. So turn on the post notification so you don't forget a post or you don't miss a post. I'm gonna be posting here and there, but it's gonna be bangers. I don't wanna talk y'all heads off. Do what y'all gotta do. Subscribe to Ju. Go follow me on Instagram, and I'ma see y'all in the next video, man. I love y'all. Peace.